Fish on here, guys, I think. I don't know what this is. It was taking runs. Got the feathers down, I just had a nice mackerel. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Saturday morning and I just pulled my lobster pots, but this is a separate video and we're going to head up to the sandbanks around Sark to go and do a little bit of turbot and brill fishing, guys. It's a fantastic day for it. It's an 8 metre tide, we've got a force 2 westerly wind, so it's going to be quite nice out there. The journey up there should be a quite good trip, so I'll take a video of all the islands and stuff as we go past, guys. Just a little video of the journey up there and then uh, we'll be straight onto these turbot and brill so hopefully I can show you how to catch these turbot and brill and I'll give you a run through of all the setup and the baits that I use and stuff like that but um, until then cue the music let's start making our way up there I hope you enjoy it guys let's go So guys, we just arrived up here, we're just trying to get a bit of bait. Hopefully we can get a few sand eels. We might have something on here. Sand eel. I've already got one up guys, so that's fantastic. Seems to be a lot of bait around here, just so we can get both rods down, hopefully get one of these turbot. Another nice green there, fantastic. So guys, because we've got two sand eels already, I'm just dropping one of the rods down. I've got to put a hook on the other one. But once I put the hook on guys, I'll give you a run through of how I'm doing it and how I'm putting the bait on and what I'm using for bait and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, hopefully gives you a little insight on how you do this turbot fishing malarkey and uh, the best way to catch these turbot. So uh, yeah, I'll bring you back once I've uh, got this line down and we set up the other rod. Let's get to it guys, let's get these elusive flatfish. Quick show of the rod I'm using, it's a 20 to 30 pound class rod. On the business end, I am using a pen squall. Now rods don't really matter, but reels do guys. You need one of the best reels you can get and these squall 220s are some of the best reels you can buy guys. Honestly, for on the boat, you can't get anything better. So what that's got on is 40 pound mono, run up to the rod, and then we've got a eight inch boom guys, with an eight ounce lead on, that consists of a bead just to protect the knot, and then a 250 pound break and strain barrel swivel. And then from there, we have 30 pound mono, six foot of it, 
down to a 4-0 hook and then all I've got is a sand eel there job flappered. Just taking the backbone out and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a few fish with that guy. So I've already got one rod down, I'm going to go up for another drift soon. There's about nine boats up here so there's a few people turbot fishing. Hopefully this rod goes and we can get one. So guys, I've got the feathers down, I've just had a nice mackerel. I lost something earlier on on the bottom rod, I got it halfway up and we lost it so I don't know what it was the bait was still there but it was definitely a fish it was pulsating and everything so uh yeah we'll be using this get some fillets down hopefully we can get some turbot with these uh fillets and mackerel guys I apologize for the t-shirt being off we've been up here for a couple of hours now managed to score myself another mackerel we got both rods down guys hopefully we can get a fish so uh yeah hopefully one of these rods scream off guys and we can get you one of these elusive flatfish so guys fish on the feathers could be a mackerel it feels like a mackerel is it a mackerel or is it a sand eel? It's a sand eel. It's a sand eel, guys. I thought that was a mackerel. Lovely green sand eel there. We'll take that for bait any day of the week. I'm hoping one of these rods go off. We've got big mackerel fillets on, so hoping a big brew or a big turbot's going to take these, guys. All we can do is hope. Drift speed's perfect. Day's perfect. Tide is perfect. Everything's in our favour. Everyone's here turbot fishing. Not anyone's had one. There we go guys, fish on. This could be a mackerel. Nope, sand eel. Big sand eel again. Yep. Plenty of bait up here on the bank, guys. Another sand eel. Fantastic. Come on the turbot, I'll bring you back if we get one. It appears to have a bit of weight on this rod. It doesn't feel like a turbot though. Definitely weight there. Maybe a dogfish, something like that. But this is gonna be the first fish off the bottom. We've had mackerel, sand eels on the feathers, but nothing really on the bottom. It's very strange because uh, I would have thought that we would have had something. Oh, that's going well now. Is that a dog or is it a flat? Dogfish, I think. Let's turn around. Still don't know what it is. Probably a dog. Yeah, dogfish. And that ain't what we want. But that's what happens when the tide drops down, guys. So I'm gonna get this off, we'll go back up for another drift. Fish on here, guys, I think. I don't know what this is. Oh, I could have more of a line. Up in there, I think. Nope, nothing guys, false alarm. I'll bring you back if we get something though. So guys, nearly two o'clock. Not really a good session. We've tried for the turbot. We've had mackerel, dogfish, that sort of thing, but we've had no turbot. So uh, I'm gonna start making my way in soon, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice and sunny day, beautiful day out. So uh, yeah, hopefully turbot may still jump on. You never know. So guys, the rods are all packed up. That's it, no turbot, no brill. But still thoroughly enjoyed this lovely day out on the water, guys. But nothing more than to cue the music and start making our way home.
So guys, we're back into port now. Unfortunately, my GoPro has run out. So I'm recording this on the iPhone. Uh, we went out for those turbo werbos and we had dogfish, mackerel, sand eels, and that was it, guys. So not a very good session whatsoever, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it. Lovely day out there. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's a new day and we should be going wrecking with smash fishing. So hopefully we can hook into a few pollock and maybe even elusive cod. That'd be great. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the share button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you've hit that bell so you don't miss one of these fishing videos. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming, guys. It's a glorious fishing. Peace out.